I consider myself as a world citizen uh, because uh, I have traveled more than 50 countries, worked in more than 20 places in different countries. And since uh, 15 years ago, I am established in, in Switzerland. And this is from where I am now uh, running my, my business called Cristali Innovations. So, uh, basically, the whole idea of, uh, of this Startup Academy, but also about uh, starting your business, is also learning the agile tools how to start your business, how to make it effective, and how to realize your goals. If you get lost or you don't know where to go or which is the right answer, yes. then you always have the possibility to ask the question and we guarantee you, you will get an answer. And that, that's, and that's really a key. That is so <laughs> valuable. a service business in just 12 weeks and this without big investments and endless research. I'm more than happy to welcome today Crystal Pibor, who is founder and CEO of a company uh, that is called Cristali Innovations that has all the answers to those questions. Welcome to you, dear Crystal. Thank you very much, Alex. Um, it's my pleasure to be invited and to be here. Yes. I'm uh, Crystal Pibor. Uh, I come from Estonia. But I, I consider myself as a world citizen uh, because uh, I have traveled more than 50 countries, worked in more than 20 places in different countries. And since uh, 15 years ago, I am established in, in Switzerland. And this is from where I am now uh, running my, my business called Cristali Innovations. And uh, now a little bit about uh, Cristali Innovations. Cristali Innovations has actually three hats, as you can see in my background. So I am very much focused on agile business management, as well as on online education and on the career development. But career development from a specific perspective, it is for the people who are changing their careers or trying to move from a professional world to start their own business. Mm, and that is so passionate because we have more and more people actually passionate about entrepreneurship. So, dear viewers, please stay tuned. Yes, it is exactly that, Alex. So, uh, basically, the whole idea of, uh, of this Startup Academy, but also about uh, starting your business, is also learning the agile tools, how to start your business, how to make it effective, and how to realize your goals. Now, I gathered up with uh, two other ladies, one who is working uh, in the AI part or everything which is marketing and related to our new modern innovative tools to help our businesses, and another lady, uh, Nicole uh, uh, von Kupewald, who is actually the leadership uh, coach and helps organizations to build very successful teams. Mm -hmm. uh, a, a bit of uh, research and what we found that mm -hmm. in internet whenever you google you will find bits and pieces here and there but there is no flow there is oh. no step-by-step -step process which will actually help you to get from a to z and be able uh, mm -hmm. really to open your business in an easy way so this is what the Startup Academy is doing. That's the, it, it leads you through the process in a natural flow, as you say. So uh, if you start, if you set out to start your service business, then you're kind of guided, right? Yes, exactly. So when you start your business, the aim is to get your foundations right, right? So, and in order to have it, you need to have a process, a proven process, which will lead you step by step from A to Z to have it completed. And this is what we have exactly uh, created in uh, Startup Academy. But not, not only that, what is that special about Startup Academy is that we are also helping you to introduce and keep your values. And this is for me really the key mm. that you will be able to build your business using your, your own values, meaning mm -hmm. stay yourself, and introduce it into your business and keep it as a long-term, let's say, business, which is going to run throughout the years and you mm -hmm. are not going to have any burnouts or you will not kind of think that, hmm, it was not really the idea that I wanted to have. That is so, so that valuable. Is if I may just underline this, yeah. because many people think, okay, using an, a, a startup academy will now mean that you have to change anything. No. So you are actually saying in when you join the startup academy, you can stick to your ideas, your values, 
and you can build a sustainable business model on the long run, right? Yes, this is That's exactly that. Right. And uh, so therefore, as I mentioned, we <clears throat> we took all these, uh, let's say, parts together. And based on that, we have put together a uh, Startup Academy methodology, mm -hmm. which is composed of uh, four parts. Mm -hmm. So, and these four parts uh, are very, very logical uh, mm -hmm. because one leads to another and basically makes the circle which let's say connects the starting point till the last kickoff date so the first step of methodology we have called agile execution mm -hmm. so agile execution means that you will take your idea and you will basically your why mm -hmm. then you will take your what you will validate it you will validate mm -hmm. your idea if it is what actually the market is requiring but also, uh, if this is really something that you would like to do, that you right, that make... is so important. The why and the what need to be aligned because otherwise, uh, dear viewers, otherwise you won't have pleasure in your business. It needs to be what you want to do, and it needs to be what the clients want. It, exactly, <laughs> and so for that we have tools and um, uh, techniques in place which allow you uh, to in, in the first two weeks actually to validate this part so that mm -hmm. you are then comfortable that yes okay. I always say here, I mean, there is one one uh, tricky thing I say that mm -hmm. you know the idea what you're going to implement uh, has to be the idea which you will say that you know everything falls down, everything uh, you don't anymore have money, you have nothing. But if mm -hmm. you still are waking up in the morning and saying. Yes, this is the business I'm going mm. to do, regardless of anything. Then that's your idea. That is so, it exactly. What your passion that what you're just describing that's the passion, right? What people are passionate about exactly. And then the last point in the agile execution is your mm -hmm. how. That is the mm -hmm. moment when we actually start building your business plan. It is going to be a first kind of draft, but you start, mm -hmm. I mean, you get the templates, you get all the tools what are required for that, mm -hmm. but you start then bits and pieces, uh, how to say you start putting it together. Mm -hmm. So together, it's just really the, the first draft because I mean, there is still, uh, let's say uh, three, uh, let's say stages which are ahead. So this mm -hmm. is just to start touch basing uh, what, what you will be doing. But so, if I may add, that blueprint, yeah. that first step is so valuable because when I founded my business, I mean, you need to start somewhere. And if you have that first blueprint and if you get on top of that templates for that blueprint, that can speed up the whole process so much. And can I just stress at the beginning, everything seems slow. So I think this is very valuable what you're proposing because you're speeding up that process of getting to go. You, because as a, an entrepreneur, you have to start somewhere. You can't just stay and say okay i will do my research for one year you don't have that time <laughs> yes and and here i want to comment that the the really the the first thing that's that's with what we start in the in the program is that we start with your roadmap and with your milestones so this mm -hmm. is really the the, the first thing oh, that's, that yes. we will start with because then you already start projecting you first of mm -hmm. all you are putting together where is your goal what is the time or the date when you would like to open your business and you we are kind of starting the step-by-step -step process backwards to identifying what the whole flow uh, needs to look like yeah and that makes the whole experience also more manageable because all of a sudden you have dates in your calendar and you you're working towards milestones and small steps, which creates the magic of getting to go and moving. And once there's movement, the business starts to develop. And that is the magic of it, isn't it? Yes. And on top of it, I mean, <clears throat> what we are guaranteeing on our side as, as your mentors is that you have you have your video recordings, you have mm -hmm. your uh, workbooks in, in the teaching platform, but you oh, also no. have you also have your live weekly coaching sessions. And oh. that is the key moment because mm -hmm. every single week you get actionable uh, tasks. So this yes. is not just kind of a, a program where you are sitting back and, and reading and looking and not doing something, mm -hmm. but you really are making step-by-step -step process progress in order to get your business moving ahead. And you really are accompanied and we keep you accountable that the work that needs to be done is being done. And if you get lost or you don't know where to go or which is the right answer, yes. then you always have the possibility to ask the question and we guarantee you, you will get an answer. And that, that's, and that's really a that key. That is <laughs> so valuable because you actually have 
very experienced people at your side may I just stress I mean Crystal said a bit uh, but you have long-standing experience in project management international supply chain management in many different uh, industries and I guess your your two co-founders as well Alex and the second step from where we move from the business plan is our uh, real business uh, Model uh, <clears throat> blueprint when we are also going to now start designing our strategy. Mm -hmm. So, and in the strategy part, uh, we are going to put together mm -hmm. first of all le the legal framework. So, mm -hmm. you will get all the things required, oh. what are really needed in your business, what legal things need to be set up. So and that is often through. underestimated. That can take so much time, often underestimated. So have, to have guidance on the legal side of things is worth gold. Yes. So, I mean, and you get also the, the standard templates, which are common to most of the, the businesses. And mm -hmm. if it is very specific, then we will uh, address it. And then you will get also the specific documents that your business will be needing. Okay. Right. Then the second step in, in that part of, of the module is uh, the financial framework. Mm -hmm. This is this is my favorite because I mean as I have a finance background, absolutely. so absolutely well off. Um, that you know your financials will be rightly uh, set. Oh great! This and, is great. And then for the third one, you will have a module or the week which is fully covering your uh, <clears throat> financing tools and and, mm -hmm. and funding. Uh, mm -hmm. So therefore, you also get an, uh, an understanding, an idea uh, where you could potentially get your uh, financing if you will be needing it and what are the pre-requirements or the documents, uh, what need to be prepared if you mm -hmm. are going to apply for any type of a funding as such. Get this kind of uh, part of our financials and legal uh, setup ready. So this is going to be in integrated in your business plan. So we are mm -hmm. getting like step by step ahead with it. Then we come to the point of growth optimization. Mm -hmm. And then one of my mentors, uh, Betty Gottwald, who is in the area of marketing and in all the AI and the new tools which are on the market, she is stepping mm -hmm. in and uh, introducing you everything what is the marketing mastery. So you get also your brand, your, uh, let's say, marketing plan, uh, all the tools and things what are on the market, what you should be considering together with your values. So mm. this gives you the moment where you can really look at yourself, look at your business and see how you would like others to see it from outside. To see it, yeah, very important. Hmm. And there you get a very, very valuable guidance of, of somebody who is really, really expert on the, on the field. So therefore, that is definitely <clears throat> a very big uh, added value. Hmm. Then on the growth optimization part, also two parts which are a little bit um, or most of the times forgotten mm -hmm. are the communication tools. Huh. So the communication tools really are the public speaking and also putting together certain type of presentations and mm. which kind of tools you have available on the market. Because as we know, times go ahead. So yes. we are actually moving very far from using only PowerPoint and um, Microsoft I mean, tools to be really uh, up up to speed, learn quickly and have available tools which can kind of enhance the system and make things working uh, forward uh, much faster. Yes, okay? and communication tools nowadays, I mean, they are moving fast, as you said, but also um, it is important to have these uh, an overview of, of what is out there, right. tools, but also to, to go back to yourself, as you just mentioned, public speaking and getting feedback from experts of how you will be perceived when you present, for example, your company pitch. That is so valuable because sometimes we have this blind spot and don't see uh, ourselves, you know. So I guess you cover both. You cover the self-perception and you cover the newest communication tools, right? Yes, exactly. The, the both because uh, <clears throat> what, what we have uh, based on our research, what we saw that there are so many people who have great ideas, but they mm. have completely forgotten the part that somehow they need to present the idea to, to others. Or yes. even if you are going to go to your customers, mm. you somehow need to have a comprehensive text, uh, your, your product or service description. I mean, you, you need to have all that. And if you yes. have actually had no experience or no clue how this is being done or has been done, then unfortunately, this can really, uh, let's say, become a bottleneck uh, on yeah. your startup journey. 
Absolutely, because the people perceive you, the first impression counts, of obviously then also the second and third, but the first impression counts and we all need to have some sort of business pitch. It's not about sales, but it is about shortly presenting ourselves and what value we can add. That's essential. Exactly. And you see, again, I mean, this is, again, linked back immediately to your business plan. So you are putting mm -hmm. in your marketing parts, you are putting in the, the part of your communication, your presentations, etc. So it all links, uh, links kind of step by step up. So you're not doing it all at the same time. And, you know, you're over yeah, it's a it, process. But you just go uh, process step by step and you are really getting it uh, done. And then we come to the to the last uh, block of uh, of the let's say of the academy, uh, which is then about people, about building your team, mm -hmm. and also working on yourself and building your mindset. Because mm -hmm. we really have to understand that any company or wherever we are, we always work with people. So, yes. but. As, as an owner of the company, the first thing that needs to be done is we, ha we have to understand ourselves. We have to know who we are. Mm -hmm. We have to know which are our strengths, which are our weaknesses. And we have to really be conscious about it. Because if we know it, it means that we know what is missing. And we know yes. which kind of people we should be looking for to have in our team. Yes, who can be complementary to our own strengths and weaknesses and also who can be, um, as you just mentioned, mindset. And this is obviously where my whole uh, current activity comes in as I'm a positive energy coach. The mindset is so important nowadays because if you work together with other people, you can actually form large, huge amounts of success by talking and building awareness about the mindset that even forms a group, not just the individuals, but also the group mindset. And that is that can be so strong and can actually uh, make you perform in a business completely differently than, than you would without. But you have to also decide on your communication style. Mm -hmm. it, it is really really crucial and important that you yourself you know what is your personality what is your archetype and what is the tendency of your communication uh let's say type because oh, yes. that will also uh, influence impact your customers which mm -hmm. customers you will be finding on the market but as well your team and if you mm -hmm. would imagine to have a completely different team but your communication style is not really ad adapted to it then there is some work that needs to be done with yourself and internally mm -hmm. to actually to overc overcome uh, that that bottleneck it's all about self-awareness isn't it first the first thing yes. as you as if i understand you correctly is a self-awareness and from then when you have that awareness then you can assemble and then you can go and choose the right people to work with right yes, both on the so. on the on the partnering side like business partners but also on the client side which is so important yes. because what we want in 2023 and beyond is happiness at work and not people suffering because they don't fit and the mindset doesn't fit it's very important Yes. And then, I mean, to just to round up before getting to the real last last step is that mm -hmm. um, we are focusing also uh, really on on mindfulness and mindfulness right. here, especially uh, regarding the startup owner or founder work life balance. Mm -hmm. And we are we are presenting uh, quite many tools which will enable you as, let's say, uh, a startupper. Mm -hmm. Really to understand that uh, to start a business doesn't mean that you have to run around 24-7. I yes, mean, same. That's, that's an important that, point. <laughs> that will not, not, not take you very yes. far. So, so therefore, I mean, I know that mindfulness is very many times left uh, aside and people are not thinking about it. But mm -hmm. you have to get your, like, you have to get your foundations right. You yes. have to get also yourself and your, your mind into right structure saying okay this is my business i make a plan i execute it but i take the time for myself for my pleasure for my family and and for the rest and, and that is so important because there are many many cases if i may say that as a work psychologist of burnout with entrepreneurs because 
Entrepreneurship has this stigma as well of thinking that we will have to work even harder than in corporate life. It's not true. And actually, who is responsible for that? You as a founder are responsible for that because you have to find your own pace. And I stress that so much because as a work psychologist, I see people coming to me with lots of these kind of problems in terms of, oh, my God, I have a calendar that is full up to the brim and I can't find a rhythm that is good also for my family. Yes. And for the, for that one, just for the listeners, I mean, who are, who are listening, there, there is a very very special module uh, in the startup academy which is mm -hmm. uh, very much based on the gap and the gain who have mm -hmm. uh, read the, the book so it is very much driven from from that and there are really tips and tricks really to keep you on your startup journey but still keep you happy and keep you going oh, so that's right. that's just that's uh, just right. something that's that would be interesting for you to know and then i mean just to to get it or to wrap it up on the 12th week so we have mm -hmm. then the um startup uh, kickoff plan so this is the, the last step when mm -hmm. we are now then taking the, the <clears throat> business plan, what we created on the third week. And we are just going through a, again, proven process. We have all the checklists and validation that you are mm -hmm. going through each single step, what you have been doing uh, during these uh, 11 uh, weeks. Mm -hmm. And you are checking where you are, if everything is completed, or it mm -hmm. might be that not everything is completed because sometimes we are waiting for registrations or there are any other thing, what, what is pending, what is not really on our hands, but at mm -hmm. least you know where you are and you can consciously make a decision that, okay, this date I am going to be ready and I am opening my business doors. And it gives you a lot of clarity. This whole process, what you're doing, it, this gives you a process of clarity, if I may add this, because it gives you clarity, peace of mind. It gives you also pace and it gives you an overview. And that is worth so much because in the beginning of, of founding a business, it is, I see that so many times as well, when people come to me in coaching sessions, it's like people might feel lost and overwhelmed. That's the feeling. So, and you take that from them with the start of a, you take that overwhelm and you structure it in a logic process. And that's really worth millions. Really great. Yeah, well, then that, that's, that's what we say that, I mean, first of all, that we make it happen uh, or we make it happen together because mm -hmm. we are there. Uh, you are not alone. Um, and I know this feeling very well that when you start and then you have gone through maybe three weeks, four weeks, and then at yeah. certain point you have your kind of a dip that mm, I'm, I cannot do it anymore because I, I have so I have million questions and I don't know who, who is able to give me the answers. Yeah. But we are here. We will give you the answers. Yes. And I mean, uh, we also are providing in each cycle uh, personal, um, let's say, a strategy call uh, with, mm -hmm. uh, with one of the coaches, depending on which, uh, let's say, uh, module uh, you actually are so also in case you are really stuck or, or you need to progress but there are different pathways uh, to take mm -hmm. then you always can uh, schedule a, a special call with us support network with the startup academy and you have all the answers to your questions that guide you through these 12 weeks so now if those uh, people who watch us have the question of oh wow i want to check this out what do you recommend them? Uh, where can they start? Uh, first of all, your website, obviously, I will link that in. So, I mean, we have also the link tree, which I have uh, provided, and um, yes. I think that you are going to share. So in the link tree, mm -hmm. you will find uh, the, the tab for, for making a uh, booking the, the meeting. And so, dear viewers, I recommend that to you. If you plan to run your own business, get in touch with Crystal. It's worth millions. So there you have it. And as a final word, what do you have maybe for those viewers who say, okay, it might be a project in the future. I'm still not sure. What would you say as a mantra to all those future business founders? Why is it worth to found your own business? Well, because you you can make your decisions and you can realize your dreams. I mean, that's that's what I want to say. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dear Christopher, for Thank a wonderful you. interview. Thank you. Thank you very much, Alex. Thank you.